All right, so let's talk about making a basic composite. So what you know now is that you always need to create new, file new, 8 by 10, 150 resolution RGB color. Um, this time let's make the background white. And then um, we're just going to make a basic composite. So we're just going to do a Command O to open. You're going to grab any picture you want. And then you're going to do a Command A to select all, Command C to copy, Command W to close your window, and Command V as in Victor to place it in. And then you just grab your Move tool up here at the top of the toolbar and move that picture wherever you want. Again, Command O to open, go into your Photoshop Photos folder, grab any picture you want, and again, Command A, Command C, Command W, Command V, and then grab your Move tool and move the picture. Again, Command O to open, Grab a picture, Command A to select all, Command C to copy, Command W to close your window, Command V to paste it in. One more time, Command O to open, grab a picture, Command A to select all, Command C to copy, Command W to close your window, Command V is in Victor to paste it in. As you can see over here, all my layers are here. I can change the stacking of my layers if I want to put something on top of something else. I can click on each layer and move it around however I'd like to do that. Um, if I want to merge some of my visible layers, I can turn off the eyeballs of some and then I can um, do a shift command E, shift command E, and as you can see that glues those two lay layers together. If I put these eyeballs back on, I can still move these, um, but these layers are locked. If I want to unlock them, I can click here and move them around and then again if I want to get that apple somewhere else and um, maybe move this picture and then if I want to merge these visible layers it's shift command E to merge my visible layers and then again file save as if I am done with this um, I always want to save it to my desktop and then drag it into my Google Drive or save it directly to your Google Drive if it's set up. Um, if I'm going to come back and work on this a little bit more, I'm going to want to save it as a Photoshop document so I can come back and work on it more. If I'm done with it and I'm going to hand it in, I'm going to save it as either a TIFF or a JPEG. And then I'm going to save it and hand it in that way. If you have any questions, just let me know.